This guy, this guy's fit. <laughs> there, Jesse, I'll cut him off. Trying to figure this one out myself. What happened, Lucas? I thought you were chasing the white pumpkin. Uh, yeah, I was. And I almost had him until, you know, he took me by surprise and stuffed this pumpkin on my head. Well, what's going on in here? No! Huh? You called the white pumpkin! Grab him, quick! On it! Get out of our way, Jesse. Yeah, it's all out in the open now. You can't defend your friend anymore. No, no, no. I know what's going on here, and I won't stand for it. One of you is still the white pumpkin, and you're just trying to pin it on Lucas. Yeah, bold words. Especially coming from someone with a knack for locking up innocent people. It's the facts, Jesse. These horrible things only started happening when your group arrived. And now, Lizzie is gone too. I say we throw him outside and let nature take its course. What? Out outside? Outside? Where all the googlies are? No, you can't do that. Yeah, uh, I don't know. I still have my suspicions about Lucas, but Jesse did save me. I don't feel right about chucking your friend to the zombies. Brave stance. Thank you. See? You all heard Dan, right? Fine. <sighs> Thank you. Don't go celebrating yet. We've still got to do something with you so you're not roaming around freely. What? Like, lock me up in a closet or something? There was a closet in the main hall with a lovely metal door. Seems like a perfect place to lock someone up. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> I was mostly joking. I guess that's fair. But I'm keeping guard because I still don't trust him. That cool with everyone? You okay with that, Lucas? Well, <laughs> I'd prefer not being locked in a closet. It's fine, Jesse. I'll watch over Lucas. Awesome. Come on, Cassie. But don't go getting any funny ideas, blonde guy. This isn't because I like you or anything. No, of course not. Be quiet. Prisoners aren't supposed to talk. Okay, well, what are we supposed to do now? We need to figure out how we're going to clear Lucas's name. Somehow the white pumpkin was able to escape that room when Lucas chased him into it. 
We need to figure out how he did that. Sounds like a plan to me. secret passage. Well, this looks promising. I wonder what order these need to be in. seems right. Hmm. That looks just like one of the arrows that killed Torque Doc. I'm guessing that's not a coincidence. Seems like a step in the right direction. There we go. Awesome. Oh, wow! You got it open! Yeah, you guys should stay here. It could be dangerous. I totally want to follow you into your friend's creepy secret passageways. Ugh, seriously? You really think Lucas did it? Hey, come on, cool it. We're all in this together, aren't we? Depends. Figured you'd be on your little buddy's side. Ugh, you know what? They're not worth it. Come on. That is deep. Guess it leads down to whatever the White Pumpkin calls home. I wonder how he gets down there. Maybe in addition to walking through walls, he can fly for all we know. Ugh! It's just... I'm really worried about Lucas. Those people think they're all safe, but the White Pumpkin is still running around, and he could strike again at any minute. Not to mention, all those people back there have been so ungrateful, so petty. Hey, Petra, I understand, okay? I'm with you. You're right. I know you're right. <sighs> Sorry, Jesse. I just really needed to get that off my chest. We're gonna get through this. Let's start by figuring out how we're gonna get down there, huh? You know the drill. What have you got in your inventory? Didn't you have all those wood blocks? Sorry, I was whittling earlier. Nervous habit. Well, luckily those should do just the trick. You thinking ladder? Yeah. Gonna need a lot of them. I'll race you. <laughs> You're on. already finished yours. Yup. Slowpoke. <laughs> Thanks. 
I needed that. All right, we got a lot more of these to make. Let's get to work. Okay, that's one down. Lots more to go. See? Told you we'd make it. Yeah, I just hope this works. You think we're gonna find the white pumpkin down here? With all these secret passageways? I'll be honest, I hope we do. And this time, he's not getting away unscathed. Brutal. I like it. Hey, do you hear... Lots and lots of zombies? Yeah, I do. <sighs> I'm starting to smell them, too. Oh, ditto. Gross. <laughs> well, that explains all the zombie noises. Sort of like zombie spawner. Does that mean the white pumpkin actually made the sea of zombies outside? That's what it looks like. What's that? This is where people's stuff goes after those hoppers upstairs suck it up. You're right. I think that's Lizzie's. Okay, but where's the loot going from here? Hopefully right to the white pumpkin. Hey, you see the light coming out of that tunnel too, right? Huh? And it doesn't look like it's blocked off like all the, uh, zombie-filled ones. We can get up there. I think we might be able to follow the loot to wherever it's going. Well, that's awesome. Nice find. How do you want to get up there? Grab some dirt, Petra. We're going climbing. Okay. I think we can jump from here. embarrassing. Thanks, Jesse. No problem. Weird. That almost sounds like... Cats? station. Weird. The white pumpkin must have heard us. Whoa! Oh. 
Stampy Cat? Boy, you gave me a fright. What are you doing down here? What are we doing down here? Yes, it looks terribly suspicious, you know. We're trying to find the white pumpkin. Oh, well, I'm glad you haven't run into him yet. Come on, you guys. I can't be the white pumpkin. I'm Stampy Cat. I'm no murderer. Huh? I needed to find you because I have something important to tell you. I have something to confess. Something I haven't told anyone. Where is this going? I stole it from Dan. It was just supposed to be a joke, a harmless prank, but then, well, you've seen what happened. Wow. Who'd have thought? I knew people wanted it, but I had no idea that, that this would happen. Wow, Stampy Cat with the enchanted flint and steel. I didn't see that one coming. Definitely suspicious. I know, and that's why I had to keep it a secret. I may be a thief, but I'm no killer. But that white pumpkin is, and he's killing people for it. And now we're down in his lair. I was thinking maybe I should just give it to the white pumpkin. What? Just maybe that would make it all stop, right? Maybe? First, we need to figure out who this white pumpkin really is, then we'll figure out what to do from there. I, I suppose that's a better strategy. That looks like a lair door, if I ever saw one. put this in my top 10 places I've ever been. Well, there's where the meowing's coming from. Don't worry, we'll get out of here as soon as we find something that proves the white pumpkin's identity. Uh. Oh no. Here's where everyone's stuff gets collected. Those poor people. I'm guessing this chest should have... Oh, yep, we've got sticks. Anything else? Oh, wow, and ender pearls. Sweet, that must be how the white pumpkin got down that elevator shaft. That chest definitely seems important. Okay, kitty kitty, can you scoot out of the way, please? I need to get in the chest. No, bad kitty. Oh, stupid cats. Need something to distract it if I'm going to get that chest open. Should be able to get some string from those cobwebs. It'll go perfectly with those sticks I found. Investigation. Perhaps it would leave if you gave it some sort of delicious treat. Where am I going to get something like that? would convince that cat to get off the chest. But how am I going to catch one?
Oh, to get a fish. Cats love fish. Yeah, and I saw one in the pond that'll be perfect. Jesse. Thanks. Bet that cat will love this. Looks like a typical brewing stand. Must be where the white pumpkin made the tipped arrows that killed Torque Dog. Didn't Lizzie say that she taught Cassie and Stacy how to make those too? Oh, yeah. Yeah, she did. Okay, here, kitty. Get the fishy. There you go. Jeez. Oh, many cats. So many cats. Ugh, cats give me the creeps. No offense, Stampy. None taken. I'm not really a cat. At least I can finally get in here now. Portraits. Loads of them. I don't like that. I guess he already had all the X'd out ones ready to go. Yep, besides Petra, we've got Dan, Stacy, Stampy, Lucas, Ivor, and... Oh, hey, there's me. But what does it all mean? The cats, the crossed-out portraits? Yeah, the portraits. There was one person who didn't have a crossed-out portrait. Someone who's a known cat person. Okay. So who did it? Yes, you figured it out? The white pumpkin is Cassie Rose. She's the murderer. Oh, man. You're totally right. I don't believe it. Uh, not only is she the white pumpkin, but she owns way, way too many cats. Well, come on, you guys. It's time to prove Lucas's innocence and catch us a white pumpkin. I'll go round everyone up. What's going on? Yeah, you were gone an awful long time. What's going on here? Did you even find anything? Quickly, where's Cassie Rose? Cassie? Why do you ask? Yeah, what's up? No sign of Cassie, but... Huh? Are you gonna tell them, or should I just do it? Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. Jesse, go on. Is this going where I think this is going? The white pumpkin is Cassie Rose. Oh. She's the murderer. <laughs> That's impossible. No way. No way. Yeah, Jesse, I'm afraid you're going to have to do better than that. Look at the facts. We caught Lucas with that pumpkin head right after poor Lizzie got taken out. I think you're just lying to protect him. Cassie's making a lot of sense right now. Do you have any evidence to back you up? There's something that's been bothering me for a while now. Something that happened in the Great Hall shortly after Torque Dog was hit with that trap. What's that? Go on, Jesse. You've got this. Cassie said she recognized us even before we saw the portraits. 
Uh, actually, that was Lizzie. Oh, shoot, I guess I misremembered that. Well, no matter. I haven't even gotten to the really juicy stuff yet. That came next. When we were down in the basement, we found some very interesting items. Items for the White Pumpkin's evening festivities. And there was one very significant detail. What was this evidence? Shh. I think Jesse's about to tell everyone. The White Pumpkin had portraits all ready to go, pre exed out, one for each of us, except for Cassie. <gasps> Ooh, that's good. Okay, I think they're on the fence, but you can do this. Bring it home, okay? But it was the last piece of evidence, dear friends, that helped me really figure out who we were dealing with here. Cats. Dozens of calico cats. And they all look just like Winslow. An amusing story, Jesse. But if you saw all these supposed cats just like mine, then what color is Winslow? It shouldn't be a problem if you saw a hundred. Cats? Really? Shh. Winslow is black, white, and orange. Cassie, is this all true? This whole thing has been about your crazy scheme to get a portal key, hasn't it? Killing whoever gets in your way. How very clever, Jesse. Well, I guess that's it then. You caught me. I am the murderer. I just don't believe this. I know. I was shocked too. But what did any of us ever do to you? Directly? Nothing. But you idiots had the one thing that I most desperately needed. I've been stuck in this stupid world with its stupid two moons for years. Trapped with a portal right under my nose, but no key to open it. That is, until I finally heard that this world's portal key had been found. I knew it was one of you, so I tried my best to earn your friendship, figure out who had it. Cassie, how could you? We shared cookies together. Cookies! Well, that sounds really hard. Of course, I can't really empathize because, see, I have a portal key. You really wanted one of these, huh? What, you little... We need to do something with you, Cassie Rose. I vote we build an obsidian prison and surround it with lava. No, 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 I won't let you do that. I can't. No. This is your fault. You did this to me. I'll fight all of you. Each and every one of you. I'll stop. Whoa. trap. We need to dig her out. After everyone she's hurt, she can dig herself out. She did terrible things, but no one deserves this. believe it she's gone what a way to go yeah i guess in all the chaos she forgot where her own traps were wow that's wow the trapper taken out by one of her own traps that's ironic if only she had just asked us for help we could have avoided this whole thing hey it's morning I guess, I guess that's it then. Yeah, we're free. And we're alive. Let's not waste it standing around. There could still be traps everywhere in here. I've never been so happy to smell rotting flesh. Yeah, that is... Yikes, that is pretty rank. I feel bad thinking about the people who aren't here to smell it. Talk Dog, Sparkles, Lizzie, and Cassie, I guess. 
Uh, that's a good point. Yeah, I didn't mean to depress anyone. I just can't stop thinking about them. It is really sad that they're gone, but I think they'd be happy that you guys made it out, okay? I think you're right. Lucky for us, that portal brought you here. Speaking of which, I have no idea how to begin finding our exit portal. Well, Cassie said it was right under her nose, right? That's true. Maybe it's nearby. Hey, what do you know? There it is. A fabulous coincidence! So, I guess this is goodbye, huh? Yeah. Just let us know if you ever accidentally find yourselves in our world. <laughs> That's really nice of you, but I don't think we can really portal hop without a portal key. Oh, well, I think Stampy's got you covered there. You stole the portal key from me? It was just meant to be a prank, a harmless prank, and I'm so sorry, so very, very sorry. Yeah, come on, it's Stampy. You know he would never actually try to hurt anyone. Leave Stampy alone, you guys. Like he said, it was just a prank. Uh, yeah, some prank. Look how badly it went. After all this craziness, I might be done chasing flints and steels and portals anyway. Well, I'm not great at goodbyes, so I'm actually just gonna start walking home. Thanks for everything. Yeah, me too. Travel safe, you guys. What a strange, strange bunch of individuals. Cassie, what's her name, was talking about being trapped here from another world. What if she was one of the old builders? Portal keys, other worlds. It all adds up, I guess. Man, that's too bad if it's true, seeing as she turned out to be, you know, the white pumpkin and all. Yes. Hadn't thought about that. I just can't believe that we finally met someone who might be an old builder, and she's a pumpkin-wearing serial killer. Typical. Well, here we are. Would you care to do the honors, Jesse? That's weird. Winslow? That's strange. I thought... Oh! I can't see a thing. Well, that's ominous. Do you hear that? Endermites! And there it is, Jesse! You're trapped! Stuck! <laughs> Just like I've been in this rotten world. I knew you weren't dead, Cassie. I knew it was way too easy. And yet you still walked right into my best and final trap. I don't know how much time you've spent with Endermites, but the poor things are eternally hungry. I would throw the flint and steel up here before I drop you down to find out how sharp their teeth are. Uh, guys, I dropped the flint and steel when we fell. I have no idea where it went. <laughs> tick tock, tick tock, Jesse. What's it gonna be? The flint and steel? Or your lives? Just give me the flint and steel, and I'll let you go free. Okay, you're right. You win. We'll give you the flint and steel. But let us out first. <laughs> no, I'm not falling for that one. Nope, this is taking too long. I'll just let the Endermites eat you and fish it out of your inventory. It'll be the best fishing trip ever. 
wings for my pet. Activate the trap! Want something done right, Captain? Prepare for your death! <laughs> Guys! Jesse! Come on, Winslow. Stupid door? Oh, it's no use! Without a lever, or button will never get these iron doors open. Just hold on, guys. I'm gonna get up to the control panel. Oh, that is disorienting. Uh, 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 uh. uh just started going faster. Booby trapped her booby traps? That is so paranoid. What? You thought you could do it just like that? Time to get leverage. Give me the key, Jesse. Guys, no! No! Hey, Jesse! Guys, holy crap, you're all alive, thank goodness. Yeah, for now. Don't worry, I found a lever. Throw it down. Okay, get ready. <laughs> Got it. Okay, you guys get to safety. I need to find that flint and steel. I grow tired of this game, Jesse. Look, you didn't have it either. Oh no, it's mine. Nope. No, we are going home. You should give that back, Cassie. No, I'm afraid not. Come on, 
and slow. someone in a death trap without even saying goodbye. yourself. Look at me, stuck again, out of Ender Pearls. And that's where she wanted us to end up. Trapped in my own trap. <laughs> of course, of course. You got what you deserve, Cassie. You've been ruthless and selfish and mean, and this is where it gets you. friend. Please. Winslow? Winslow! Where are you, my darling? Come to Master, please! I have a fish! Come get the fishy! Winslow? Winslow! Wow, so she kept the real portal hidden down here all this time. Unless this one is a trap, too. I don't know if even she'd be that paranoid. Only one way to find out. Good sign so far. Yeah, no trick floors or arrows or anything. Okay, sure. But who's going first? We're a team, we all go together. Ready? One, two, two three. three. Adventure! All right, what's going on, dudes? It's me, Captain Sparkles, next time on Minecraft Story Mode. After defeating the dreaded White Pumpkin, will Jesse and the others find their way back to the portal hallway? And will it lead them home? Or instead, are they destined for more perilous adventures? Well, I guess I'll never know because I got pounded into the ground by a ton of sand. I guess you saw that, right? I'm in the middle of an amazing speech and boom! I've suddenly become part of the floor. I mean, dude, you saw that, right? How much worse can it get? First, they choose not to invite me on their adventure, and the next thing I know, I'm part of the floor. Anyway, one thing's for certain. Even without me, this is going to be an amazing adventure. <laughs>